This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Thursday, September 10th, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro has been showing a bit of a bounce over the past few sessions, though the recovery is mild and the market still is locked within a well-defined downtrend. At this point, a lower top is sought out ahead of the next downside extension, back towards that low from the 20th of July at 108.09. Really, only back above recent highs that we saw around 13.33 would compromise the immediate downside pressure and put the pressure back on the top side. Sterling dollar. So cable is locked within a more well-defined uh, downtrend over the past several days, with the market rally over the past few sessions stalling out ahead of 155. At this point, a lower top is sought out somewhere ahead of 155 in favor of resumption of declines back down towards and below the recent lows that we saw at 151.65, and then to one more significant support at 150.89 further down. The 50.89 low is that low that we saw going back to May of 2015. Of course, a break below 50.89 would then expose psychological barriers at 150. Again, a close back above 155 would now be required to put the pressure back on the top side. Dollar yen. So dollar yen rallies have stalled out in Wednesday trade with the market stalling out well shy of that recent uh, uh, ideal or anticipated lower top at 121.74 and the market is now poised for resumption of declines back down towards those lows that we saw the other week at 116.12. At this point only a break back above 121.74 or a daily close really above 122 would put the pressure back on the top side. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss broke above some previous resistance, multi-day resistance at 109.62, with the market trading up to as high as 109.83 ahead of the latest minor setbacks. At this point, the break above 109.62 is significant, as it suggests that the higher low is in place at 107.14 and opens the door for the next measured move upside extension towards the 112 area further up. Really, only back below 107.14 would compromise the immediate bullish outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains locked within a well-defined downtrend and the market is trading just off recent multi-year lows. The latest recovery rally is classified as that, as corrective, and, and these rallies should be well capped in favor of a lower top and a resumption of declines towards next key support in the form of the measured move objective at 68.30. Really only back above 74.40 would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD remains locked within a very well defined uptrend with the market trading just off recent 11 year highs at 133.54. Look for setbacks to continue to be very well supported in favor of a higher low and fresh upside towards next key psychological barriers at 135 further up. At this point, only a break back below 128.60 would compromise the constructive outlook for Dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is locked within a well-defined downtrend and the market has seen a bit of a bounce in recent trade, though we're looking for a lower top now in favor of a continuation of declines and a bearish resumption back down towards that recent multi-year low at 61.30 and below. At this point, only a break back above 67.40 would compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So S&P 500 rallies have been very well capped ahead of 2000 in recent trade with the market stalling out a shy of the psychological barrier again in when on Wednesday and it looks as though the market wants to put in a lower top ahead of a resumption of declines back down towards recent lows in the 1830 area and then back to test 1819 lows going back to 2014. At this point only a close back above 2000 would take the pressure off the downside. Gold. So while we have seen setbacks in recent trade in gold, the market is still trading above 1100 and it looks as though it could be in the process of putting in a recovery off those recent multi-year lows below 1100 in the 1073 area. Look for a higher low to carve out somewhere around the 1100 area in favor of the next upside extension back towards and eventually above 1170. A break above 1170 would then expose medium term resistance at 1233 further up. Of course, a daily close below 1100 would compromise this outlook and put the pressure back on the downside for a retest of those recent lows.